Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. It's a little bit colder here in Illinois today. Uh, we Our 80 degree weather left us and uh, we're back down into the 40s and the 30s at times with a little bit of rain. So I'm in the garage today and I wanted to bring you this uh, review video, uh, just basically a video of me showing you the speed engineering headers I'm sure there's some videos out there with people already reviewing them, but uh, I wanted to get this out there and just show any modifications if you happen to be using that QuickTime bell housing, the RM-6018 bell housing, um, what modifications I needed to make to it. So we'll get to the video here in a moment. One interesting thing that I uh, found out about the RM-6018 bell housing from QuickTime, which is... Uh, subsidiary of Holly is it's no longer being made. If you go on their website to try and um, look up the, that actual bell housing, it says it's no longer available. So I feel pretty fortunate that I was able to get mine when I did. Um, I think when I talked to Holly, they said there was only like two or three left in their factory of the 6018 bell housing. So Honestly, I don't know what I would have done. It pr probably would have pretty much halted my uh, LS build because I'm, I'm sticking with the T5 just because of, A, I don't think that the T5 is that bad of a transmission when it comes to street driving and if you're not going to be ripping on it too bad. Um, I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. It's a heck of a lot better if you ask me than uh, putting four grand into a new TKX or even three grand into somebody's clapped out T56 uh, that you don't know what you're getting, a used transmission like that. And I mean, just at the end of the day, the T56, yeah, it's stronger. I get that. And it's worked in the 2000 Camaros and up. Uh, you know, they're the, I'm sorry, the 93s and ups, but it's not that great of a transmission. It truly isn't. They, they shift horrible. They, they, they don't have the best shifting out there. Um, so yeah, long-term, the, the goal is a T, uh, the TKX, uh, five speed. And, um, like I said, I'll, I'll show you the headers and then I'll show you basically what modifications had to be done once we bolted those headers up to the engine. So here we go. All right, well, there's the Camaro. So this is what you're gonna get from Speed Engineering. This is the box that it came in. And uh, like I said, I ordered these. These are the LS swap uh, for F body headers. And, uh, I mean, when you look at the price comparison between these and any other, any other name brands, these are $299 stainless steel, yeah, made in China, but a lot of, from the views I've read and the videos I've seen, a lot of people are using them with great success. And it just, for a price point, I don't think they can be beat. So... We'll start with the passenger side collector here. But as you can see, nice thick flange, nice welds all the way around. It's not just piecemealed. You can see that. Not just tacked in at places. And uh, we actually fit, the, fit these up there. Flanges are nice and straight. Um, and you can see they've got a, uh, already, um, it's, it's ready for an O2 sensor and that's both sides, passenger and driver. And the only thing I can see that I'll be wanting to change is, and I'll have to see how it works out, but, um, the collector as it goes into what I'm going to do is a Y pipe to then a Muflex uh, four inch system. Um, but I, I'm thinking V-band clamps on this cause I want this to be secure. I don't want any leaks 
but we're just gonna have to cross that road when we get to it. I don't know yet how all that's gonna work out. So, and with the, uh, with their headers, I ended up, I opted for the stainless steel screws. There's the passenger side. I opted for the, pa the stainless screws and the um, LS style uh, compression gaskets, but they give you, I think these are just like a, a cheapy, like almost like a stock replacement. But I opted for these just because I've heard good things about these replacements. So it's more of like a compression gasket. So that, and then the stainless steel screws, which I've got somewhere else right now. I don't know where, but that's it for the headers. Let me show you the uh, bell housing. All right, well, here's the block and I'm gonna show you. So the pet, this is the driver's side. And once we fit the driver's side up, just threw a couple bolts in and tightened them, not torqued them, just tightened them to see where the header would fit. And if there was any interference on here, um, basically it interfered at this section here with where the bell housing used to come out and complete a full circle. And I had a feeling it was going to. It also interfered with where the original slave cylinder would go. There was a, there's a bracket that comes out of here. So it, it, I didn't film it, but it's basically, I took my cutoff wheel, take this off, and then uh, put the headers up, trace the pattern out. And then this allows me to still put some bolts through here to keep the scatter shield together. Um, but once you tighten all these up, really, and if you ask me, the bolts under here are pretty irrelevant. This is a very tight fit. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you know, take, I took out a pretty good piece of this bell housing and then, uh, just took some, uh, high temp paint, primed it, uh, painted it black and then threw some high temp clear on it so that everything's sealed up and we don't have any issues with rust but I'll show you the piece that was taken off of uh, that held the slave cylinder all right so as I was telling you there was this piece that was orig that's originally used for the slave cylinder if you're going to run a traditional system with the clutch fork so just made the cut and took that thing completely off because that's, we're not gonna need that with what we're using, which is that hydraulic throw out bearing um, from how racing industries and then the, um, the throw out kit for running that hydraulic throw out bearing. But uh, there's the trans. As you can see, already doing some test fitting with uh, the amount of shims that are gonna be needed. And I'm going to have a video on that too here soon um, since I've been kind of messing with the throw out bearing and seeing what shims might or might not be needed based on the measurements from the bell housing face to the actual clutch fingers. So there you go. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you would leave a like share the video, comment, and please consider subscribing. I'd like to grow the channel and start putting out um, more and more information and videos as the time goes on. And um, there, trust me, there's a lot more that I have to put out on this. Um, I'm hoping to detail a lot more of the build as we go along. Um, but truly, Next up is getting the motor and the trans made it up and then back in the car. And I've got a Holley Sniper, uh, the 650 horsepower system ready to go on it. So we gotta get through that, do all the wiring, uh, continue buttoning, buttoning up the suspension stuff. But like I said, there's a lot more to come and I'm, I'm gonna share it with you guys, I'd love to. So please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. And uh, I'd love to just grow the channel. And I'm working on 
improving each video as far as editing and adding things to it. Um, I'm working off of my iPhone with uh, editing and, and doing the videos themselves. So I appreciate you watching, like I said, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.